Hey buddies, did you hear about last night's shenanigans? The PlayStation State of Play went all in on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And let me tell you, it was a feast for the eyes and a treasure trove of new game deets. And guess what? That sneaky demo that was playing hide and seek on the internet? It's now officially out of the shadows and ready for you to snatch up and play. Mark your calendars, folks, because come February 29th, 2024, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to turn the PlayStation 5 world upside down. In a grand move to whip up excitement, Sony and Square Enix gave us another PlayStation State of Play dedicated to this JRPG sequel. They showered us with new gameplay scenes and, drumroll please, dropped a playable demo on us. This little taste of the game had already leaked before the State of Play, but now it's got the official stamp of approval and is up for grabs. This means you can dive into the world of Final Fantasy VII Remake sequel and get a sneak peek before it fully hits the shelves. Tetsuya Nomura, the creative wizard behind the game, spilled the beans that in the demo, you can step into the boots of either Cloud or Sephiroth for the iconic Nibelheim flashback. This is like getting a golden ticket to one of the opening chapters of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, where you're not just wandering around bits of the massive game world, but also making some pretty hefty decisions. The Nibelheim incident, set five years before the main game's events, is your playground. And there's more where that came from. Nomura hinted that the Junon region would join the demo party in the weeks leading up to the full game's release, likely around February 21. But catch this, you've got to wrap up the Nibelheim chapter first to unlock Junon. Though, a little heads up, Junon's been squeezed a bit for the demo, so don't expect your progress there to carry over to the full game. But hey, saving your demo game does unlock some goodies in the full version, like a Kupo Talisman and a Survival Kit. Plus, you can skip parts in the full game that you've already tackled in the demo. If you missed the state of play, do yourself a favor and check it out. It's packed with more info and, importantly, heaps of gameplay snippets. They showed off the new combat system, blending real-time action with strategic commands and a mix of game regions, transportation modes like chocobos and desert buggies, dialogue choices and character skill trees, and the soundtrack, a whopping 400 tracks strong. Before I forget, brace yourself for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth's appetite for storage. The game's going to gobble up a jaw-dropping 145 GB on your PlayStation 5. So, in a nutshell, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is taking the baton from Final Fantasy VII Remake, giving the classic 1997 RPG a dazzling modern makeover with cutting-edge graphics, voice acting, and fresh gameplay. It's going to be a wild ride, folks, sans the usual phrases. Get your gaming thumbs ready. And that, my fellow gamers, brings us to the end of our epic journey through the newly released playable demo of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you enjoyed this video and are craving more gaming content, theories, and walkthroughs, then you've come to the right place. Make sure to hit that like button, smash subscribe, and ring that notification bell so you don't miss any of our future adventures. This is Chris, signing off from Curiosity. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next adventure. Goodbye for now.